hurricane. Nope, false alarm. Blue Beacon, Knoxville. Thank you. Ain't got a radio, but they're not that backed up today. You only got like one or two in line. Piece of cake, come on in. Alright, we got her done. Now we're gonna go uh, dry her off. We're going slow again. He logs, baby. Question, what name do you want him to receive? He's like, name? What? What's your name? That's what she said. Yes, what name do you want them to receive? I do to understand. And we got water going everywhere. This thing is leaking like crazy. Come on. I'm going to pull down here and let her drip dry while we towel dry. Fun stuff in the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. Fun, fun, fun. I wish I had four quarters and use this vacuum cleaner. Well, I got a wet and dry bag at home. I will uh, do it. So anyway, here we are. We have arrived at our destination. smokes burn it up uh, we just got her dried off got some tire juice on it and now we're gonna take her home put her in the yard for four or five days holy smokes that shower I just paid five dollars for it's long gone man it's like 90 I don't know what it is 90 one nine two my temperature gauge showing 95, but I don't think it's 95. And anyway, we just got through, uh, well, Blue Beacon just got through washing the truck, and we just got through toweling it dry and putting tire juice on the tires. Now we're going home. It is uh, 1445. It's about an hour to the house from here. Time to get in the driveway. So, whew. I'm a, I kicked my butt, man. I'm a truck driver. I'm not used to all that work. I should have went right over there across the road, redeemed my free wash, but yeah, you bought me once, man. You don't get to bite me again. Yeah, it turns out that was a subscriber. Come on out of there, mailman. It turns out that was a subscriber that said to do a good job, and they do do a good job now. I'm not dissing them. They just, that one guy was new, and he missed all the shiny stuff. Didn't even touch it, you know. I understand if you put a brush on it, you miss it, but if you don't even brush it. Um, and plus, his most expensive truck wash I ever paid for in my life. And I've paid for a lot of truck washers. But anyway, so, we'll stick to these people here across behind me here. I'd like to go sometime today. There we go. That speed go there reminds me. I got my oil changed there. Let's see, it was. Uh, Take the ambulance to the right on I 40 West I 75 South. 122, and I got 137. Uh, what is that? 14,000 miles? You know? So, 
14,000 miles ago, and we still, our fuel filter is on one. That is the first time in the history of any X-15 that I know of. Some of you guys are going to chime in there and say, well, I got an X-15, I get 50,000 miles out of my fuel filter. Well, you'll be the first. If you got the same kind of fuel filters we got, everybody I know that's got one of these, if you get 10,000 miles out of one, you're extremely lucky. But I have noticed the last uh, two or three fuel ups, the fuel has looked really good. Some guy said, well, it probably wasn't they got rid of the winter blend. Well, that could be true, but uh, I had this truck last summer. I bought this truck in February of last year. And ever since I've owned it, I've done a fuel filter about every eight to 10,000 miles. So I noticed uh, Sergey Dragovich had his first fuel filter experience last week. But he paid the dealership to change both of them. I would have commented and told him, look dude, you just got to change the water separator one. You don't have to change both of them. And you don't have to go back to the dealership. And I noticed he commented at the dealership said it was even hard to uh, restart. <laughs> so I would uh, comment on his channel and give him some pointers, but he doesn't listen to anybody. You know, I can't help him. I've offered pointers, but he doesn't listen to me. Some people you just cannot help, you know. Anyway, enough of them ramblings. We're going home. It's Thursday. We're going to the house. Let's go to the house. Everybody to the chopper. And the speed limit is no longer 55. Woohoo! It's like we spent how many years doing 55 through here? Well, this is the only spot in Tennessee that I know they raised it. Uh, Memphis is still 55. I think Nashville. I don't know. Nah. Was Nashville ever 55? I don't know. I took 840 today. Added 18 miles to the journey. Okay, we out. See ya. What's in a bad wreck today up here on Interstate 40? I think it was a couple of big trucks and a four wheeler. And it looked like one of those big trucks just went clean over the top of the four wheeler. And on the CB they said there were four fatalities. Uh, Officer White, that was in your ju jurisdiction. I guess I could contact him and get the low, the, the ins and outs on that. So I'm not telling you guys wrong. But, but you know, it's a very sad deal, man. I mean, the way these people drive, well, I mean, it's big trucks too. Like some of these people drive these big trucks. Holy smokes, you know. So I'm doing 68. I'm sorry, 68. I'm going to back it down right there 65, but these people out here running 75, 80, 90 miles an hour. I mean, it's just crazy, you know? And they, they cut these big trucks off and just zipping around them like, you know, they're in their way and they're a nuisance. Run those speeds, man. It doesn't take much to lose one when you lose your life, you know? I mean, what are you in that big of a hurry to go do? crazy. I mean, I kind of want to get home, you know. It's 3.15. I feel like I should have been home two hours ago. But it's all good. I'll get there when I get there. So anyway, we got a lot of plans this weekend. Holy smokes. We was going to wash out the trailer and we don't really need to. It, it, it cleaned up really nice. Some good sweeping, so we're good got a couple of scratches down that right side I'd like to get out from getting into some trees you know so and I got some trees to cut around the house everything is grown out getting a little bushy and uh, I gotta clean up the back porch I think the pollen is now it's over so I gotta pressure wash the back porch so I got some spring cleaning I gotta get done so it'll be a hardcore working weekend for me. 
hospital, health and load lined up for Tuesday. You know, I'm just, I'm just amazed at the rates. Everything I seen popping today was paying two bucks a mile. I mean, the fuel's like three thirty something a gallon, and the rates are dropping. I'm like, yeah, you know, I can go broke sitting in my own driveway. So I'm just gonna sit in my own driveway. You know, crazy. This time last month, those same loads were paying three dollars a mile. And fuel was two seventy a gallon. Now fuel is three thirty, and won't pay two dollars. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, that's all I got. You guys, uh, we'll see y'all, well, multiple times over the next few days. Time you see this, it'll be the next weekend. Ah! So you guys, I uh, hope you had a fabulous, i tell you what, time travels, something else, isn't it? So I hope you guys had a, a, a fabulous Memorial Day weekend, and I hope you had and enjoyed your short working weekend, or work week, because you were off Monday. So, as was I. Anyway, now we're going to get back to work and try to, try to get back after it. How's that for some futuristic time travel? Yes, sir? Okay, see ya. Life is good.